Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Journeyman Save here on Football Manager. We're continuing on today from the 31st of August. We'll be finishing the transfer window today, still hoping to bring in a couple more players in the next three days. But we start immediately with a game against Queen's Park Rangers, who are right with us in the league. Decent start to the league so far, though our most recent two games have been the defeat and the draw. But we did just also draw to Championship Coventry. So I'm hoping that we can continue our potential promotion campaign this season. We're looking to get promoted if we can. Hutchinson is oh, certainly not going to be able to play in this one. So Chuxaniki can come in. We'll put Brandon Hanlon on the bench. And Matty Birch, who's certainly not fit enough to play this either. He'll go straight onto the bench. Uh, but not play. Box to box. Actually, Matt J might be a better box to box. There's not really much. There's not really much in it. Right, so I'll change him to uh, on Gonch, actually. Let's see what we can do here against Queen's Park Rangers. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any more of this save. But for now, I'm going to divert my attention to my stream chat where Saul has just resubscribed for a 63rd month. Five and a quarter years. My man. A founding member. Thank you, Saul. Good to see you, dude. Can't ask for a better start. That Tom Lawrence corner Archie Brown near post technique is working really well this year. We're 1-0 up inside 80 seconds. I mean, Peter Monty's doing everything himself here. Oh. Connor Masterson, first goal of the season. It's a hell of a run by Pina Monti. QPR are going to get themselves a point here, it seems. Balls. That's annoying. A draw is probably a fair result given the balance of play. Crew versus Wimbledon seems like it's been a hell of a game. Crew going 4 3 up in the 90th minute. A point against Queen's Park Rangers is decent. I've got to be happy with that. They're a side that are going to be there or thereabouts at the end of the season anyway, so. To take points off them and earn one for ourselves is certainly not an underachievement. Blackpool's seven game unbeaten run ends. Ch Charlton did come down from the championship last season. The overall balance of the club is still not amazing, but but remember, remember, in the process of a board takeover, I don't know if anything's going to come of it, but it might. Transfer deadline day has arrived, and we haven't yet found out about haven't yet found out about the guy from Peterborough Ronnie please Ronnie hurry up thank you I can't afford the fee I don't have the money they'll turn that down Masterson we just played against and he was really good he's transfer listed although I imagine by request no That might be an absolute fucking banger of a sign in Connor Masterson at centre back. He's literally just scored against me. Just been for your second jab. Nice one, Jamie. Connor Masterson's literally just scored against me. And played well in that game against Queen's Park Rate right? against QPR. Without being able to move on players like Keefton Bells, I can't just go and sign Dominic Gay. Hamer's coming in. We have a new right back in the squad. Yes! 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 We have a new centre back and a new right back for the squad. On deadline day, we've gotten it done. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Connor Masterson is in. That is spectacular. If I can get if I can get rid of Hanlon. This guy is going to be in the squad soon, Andrew Watt. Potential to be a championship level striker in the future. Are there any VIPs? Are there any VIPs, Patreon VIPs, that would like Andrew Watt to be renamed after them? Nathan Adams it is. You are immortalised in this save. Sean Duncan looks like he might be coming on a bit as well. Oh, I would like a little bit more growth mentally from him if possible. Up the gas. 
Uh, no. Well, mate, next season you can, Nath. Next season. But this season, unfortunately, there isn't the option to do that, I'm afraid. Thanks for the follow, Pace, Post Melon. <laughs> All right. South End are the league below us. So it should be straightforward victory, this. Even with a rotated 11. This rotated 11 should still be good enough to see off South End. Thanks for the follow, Dawand. Welcome to the channel, mate. I mean, where, where the keeper is going there is completely beyond me. What is Jason still doing? Watch the replay. Watch the keeper. Ready? Honestly, I'm baffled. The ball is there. The ball comes to here and he's running over here towards the penalty spot. Last 12 hour shift before your day off tomorrow. Four hours down, eight to go. How's it been going this week, Sokmus? Has it been pretty straightforward or have you had had any mishaps? Come on then, let's have a counter-attack. Well, okay, let's have a goal as well as a counter-attack. Tom Lawrence, he should score here. He has done. There's our goal. Probably to penalties we go then. Probably to penalties. Yeah. I can imagine that is pretty stressful. And Tom Lawrence misses our first penalty. Lovely. He was looking complacent before the penalty shootout. Not looking complacent anymore, are you, Sunshine? No, Kenzie, we lost the playoffs, unfortunately, by two goals to nil against Sunderland. Lost the playoff final. They missed their penalty, though. So it's 1-1. Well done, Archie. Archie Brown misses the penalty and we lose on pens to South End. So we'll be on one point. They'll be on two. And I think if I remember rightly, Bournemouth under 23s will be on three because I think they won their game. Stronger team available for this one. Or stronger team is what I'm going to put out for this one. Kilgore preferred to be on the right of the two, didn't he? He prefers to be on the right. So I'll put Masterson on the left. And then... Bogard at left back. That's a strong defence, you know. Westbrook is the playmaker. Matty Virtue is the box to box. Um, Tom Lawrence on the right, although as a winger. We've got Amari Hutchinson at Cam as an advanced attacking midfielder. On the left, Archie Brown as a winger. And up top, Mr. Presley. The squad's really taking shape. I'm pleased with the low knees that we've brought in. Really pleased with the low knees that we've brought in. Just tell them there's no pressure to succeed. Portsmouth away is a very tough fixture. Portsmouth, of course, the team that we knocked out of the playoffs last year at the semi-final stage. So they'll be wanting a, a measure of payback for that. We won by four goals to one here. You've got options, Presley. There's Westbrook. Play through Tom Lawrence. We'll find the right pass. Amari! I told you he'd show me something. He showed us a goal. We have the 1 0 lead we've been craving, and Amari Hutchinson buries it in the back of the net. Only two minutes into the second half, we're in front. We'll take a 1 0 win if we can get it. I may have spoken too soon. A highlight in the 93rd minute. Get there, Aaron. Okay, we've got possession. We're on a counter attack. I th I'd like to think that that means that we won't. We won't be losing this lead. It's a terrible effort by Aaron Presley, but. Highlight continues. That makes me nervous. It's your first time playing FMC. You don't know how it will go. I'm sure you'll pick it up sooner rather than later, mate. A good tutorial system in the game. And if there's anything you don't understand, feel free to ask a question. Or alternatively, there are plenty of videos on YouTube to help you pick up the game. But really pleased with that result over Pompey. Portsmouth are a very good side. And they were challenged for promotion last year, but we knocked them out of the playoffs. They're challenging for promotion this year, but we've beaten them again at Fratton Park, where they're not quite so convincingly. We will take the three points, though. It moves us up into fourth. Millwall have won every single game so far this season. They've won 3-0 with three goals in four minutes against Cambridge. Yikes. Cambridge United, yikes. Bristol Rovers chairman rubbishes rumours of potential takeover. Speculation had mounted in recent days amid takeover, amid talk of a deal for the club to change hands, but that no longer appears to be the case. So club info, general, owner loves the club. There is no takeover coming. 
Oh uh, yeah, it is, unfortunately. I quite simply haven't had the time to edit the previous streams. It's just, that's the hard thing about putting out the, the stream content. They all take, because the streams are like three to four hours long, they all take ages to edit. Finish for Matty Virtue, by the way, so we take a 1-0 lead. So it's really difficult to keep up with the editing whilst also making daily YouTube content as well. Go on, Tom. Oh, it's a solid... No! Oh, it looked like a good challenge to me. But we're going to get a pen. Tom Lawrence to take it. We changed our penalty taker, added Tom Lawrence and took Presley off them. Turns out, good idea. Correct decision. Tom Lawrence scores his fifth goal of the season. We have two at home against Walsall. Sorry, Ollie. I don't know if anyone's actually thinking about bidding for him at the moment. Because Brentford would probably just put his price up so so high that nobody would be willing to pay it. Archie Brown! Seventh goal of the season. Brilliant header. Third goal of the game for us. 3-0. He's offside though, wasn't he, Zanzali? He's not. And Walsall potentially have a route back into the game. Keo with a free kick and everybody at the back just switches off. Hmm, that's not necessarily the best marking in the world, is it? I was useless. That should be full time now, I imagine, by the time the goalkeeper gets that under control and fires it back. Three minutes added on. We were over that by half of by 30 seconds or so, and there we go. Final whistle sounds. A win against Walsall. We'll take it. Thank you very much indeed. What a free sunny he's turning out to be. Similarly, similarly, Tom Lawrence. Three goals, six assists. Five goals, seven assists in all games so far this season. He's been a revelation. It's his first season at this level since 2013-14 when he was at Crew. That's 11 years ago in, in save. It's true, honey. Get the hang of FM. It can be quite confusing. Now, if you're not familiar with it, it can be very confusing if you're just watching it. Because obviously, anybody, well, the majority of people that play it are like muscle memory clicking everywhere, left, right, and center, know exactly where they're going and what they're wanting to do. And it can be quite hard to track. I can well appreciate that, especially on PC as well. All right, Wimbledon away. Don't change a winning side, they say. So guess who's not going to change his winning side? Me! Actually, I might... Oh, do I... No. No. Everybody that plays this one can play Watford as well. Avenge what happened last time. So we got battered last time we played Millwall. In fact, that was in the, the stream that I last edited. We got hammered like four... Oh, no. We went 4-1 down and then pulled it back to 4-3 with two late goals. In general, they did hammer me. Zane should finish this, and does so. We lead by a goal to nil in the third minute away from home. Oh, what a ball. That's a tight, narrow angle. But he is going to squeeze in a mistake from the goalkeeper, and Archie has his eighth, and we have our second. That shouldn't have gone in. Nathan Trott is a goalkeeper we thought about signing, elected not to, and on that evidence, we certainly made the right decision. Should never be scoring from there. Did it take a deflection off the defender? It may well have done. Hell of an assist from Westbrook. Hell of an assist. Lawrence, Virtue, Westbrook. Play the ball through! Wow! Off the bar. Ugh, I don't even know how to react to that. Showing a replay of the goal now. Trying to make sure I keep up with it. FM and this. A lovely run by Ramsey. Beating the offside trap again. He scuffed his finish. This time, last time he put too much on it. This time he scuffed it. Archie Brown has another goal and we have a third. He scuffed this one off his heel, but it has ended up in the back of the net. It's not the first time Aaron Ramsey's gotten in behind. That's a really good goal. Pulled one back. Rep cut with his first goal of the season. It's a nice cross and delivery. Great delivery, actually. Defenders should do better. Bogard has been quite poor at left back recently. Supposedly having a good game today, but I, I have to be honest, I've been questioning some of his decision making. And he has had a couple of poor games. 
prior to that, he's been exceptional. He has had a couple of off days. They have another Wimbledon. They have another. Tell them to focus. They've pulled one back again. And Wimbledon are going to do to us what we did to them last season. You feel like the focus shout doesn't really work. Oh, offside. I thought we'd added a fourth. Brilliant header by Presley. Ali Koiki is offside, though. Oh, Tom Lawrence is in. And he's buried it. He's beaten the goalkeeper to it, beaten the defender to it. We will win. Tom Lawrence, by the way. Tom Lawrence, by the way. Oh, that's a cross as well. Ali Koiki with a header. He does have his goal. Tom Lawrence with another assist. We are blessed. We are absolutely blessed to have Tom Lawrence play for us this season. He and Archie Brown out wide are really doing the business. Because Presley's not pulling his weight so far this season. Only one goal in seven games. But the, the goals are coming from everywhere else at the moment. Well, I am going to have a word with Presley. I'm going to give everyone a rest for this cup game against Watford. I am going to speak to him. In recent form, we've not been scoring enough. That hopefully was the right thing to say there. Watford aren't necessarily the opponents to try and get the better best out of him, but... Is that someone suspended? Oh, Conor Marston's cup tied. That's annoying. So far this season, Amari Hutchinson, four goals, three assists. Tom Lawrence, six goals, eight assists in 11 games. Archie Brown, nine goals, three assists in 11 games. It's insane, really, that the two wide men have been providing as much as they have. But to be fair, they are both unbelievably unbelievably good for the level that we're at Archie Brown is he's nine goals in eight games Archie Brown in the league it's outrageous Tom Lawrence is supposedly declining but he's just outrageously good or well, has been outrageously good we've had over 75% possession and all of the chances And Aaron Presley is on the score sheet once again. Speaking to him privately has evidently worked because that's a hell of a finish as well. We lead by a goal to nil. Matty Virtue into Amari, helps it on its way, takes a touch, spins on it, picks out the top bins. That's a wonderful goal. Maybe a cup upset is on the cards perhaps. And we have had an outrageous first half. An outrageous first half. If they sneak a, sneak an equaliser, is absolutely undeserved. Although if we give the ball away like that, there you go. They're going to score the equaliser as I fucking mentioned it. Why do I jinx myself like that? I don't know why I do it. Till with a goal. What for the level? <sighs> Archie Brown is so good in the air. I mean, he's he's six foot six. He should be, but still, not everybody that has the height can use their height properly. Archie Brown absolutely can. What a leap! We lead again. Overlapping run on the right if he needs it. Brilliant tackle by Bogard. Still, the ball comes in. Scrambled it away. Get to that, please, Aaron. Oh, he's giving the ball away though. Then they've given the ball away as well. Crazy Steve for the ninth month. Happy Twitch, baby, my man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, I pack kinged. I pack kinged for a couple. <laughs> we have beaten Watford. That's how good a form we're in right now. And how weak a side they put out, more to the point. But that's how good a form we're in right now. We've just beaten Watford.
We win in the third round of the Carabao Cup against Championship Watford. Presley ends his goal drought. I'm going to praise him. I went and spoke to him, told him not to worry about his goal drought. The goal would come. In the very next game, the goal arrived. Somehow, we're still only a B plus with the board. Still only a B plus. They want top half. We are right in the playoffs. Rotherham and Millwall, though, look pretty spectacular. Both very strong teams. Seven wins from their eight games so far. And we have Rotherham and Millwall within three games of each other at the end of the month. Carlisle next though. I'm not sure. We are going to get... We're going to get West Ham at home or away. West Ham at home and he's given the pen. Must have been on the line. We have West Ham at home in the Carabao Cup fourth round. Giving us Millwall's actually now been moved. I mean, at the moment, these uh, this eleven, these eleven players are doing everything they need to right now. I, it it sucks for everybody else that isn't part of this eleven, but I've got absolutely no reason to change anything at the minute. That's a lovely ball. Square it, Tom. Oh, he doesn't need to square it. He can go alone. Tom Lawrence is that good. Bristol Rovers 1, Carlisle nil inside three minutes. How on earth has he done that from there? Brilliant take. Beats the man and then... Oh, I keep should be ashamed of himself. That's a hell of a finish, though. My God, Tom Lawrence is an absolute monster in League 1. I'm waiting for Millwall and Rotherham to be playing each other. That's when either of them or both will drop points. But we need to ensure that we keep winning ourselves. 1-0 lead at half-time. Fairly simple first half. We're happy with it. Keep it up. Did Carl have a single shot? They did. They had one. Can we take the lead? Can we... Oh, no. Rotherham have equalised immediately. That didn't take long. Archie Brown. No, Archie, that was probably going over the line. You could have left it. Presley won the first header, and I don't know if that ball was going over the line or not. If it was, he's literally just taken the goal off his teammate. Unbelievable. If we don't win this now. Cambridge scored in the 76th, then Rotherham equalised in the 78th. Another goal disallowed. Alfie Kilgore. Flipped on by Presley from the free kick. And he's just off. He's just off. We could have had a 3-0 win here. It's fine. The dub's, the dub's the most important thing. Our goal difference is decent already. Maybe I drop Presley for a couple of games. I don't know whether that would perhaps give him the kick in the backside that he needs to start scoring regularly again. I'm not sure. All right. The only change. Handling in for Presley. That's the only change. Swindon are unbeaten in a number of games, though. They're 21st in the league, but they obviously had a very poor start and are starting to try and turn that around with some draws. They haven't lost for a little while. We, however, have been in a very good run of form. Well, there you go. Inside a minute, you've got yourselves a 1-0 lead. Come on, Ali. Oh, he's ridden the challenge well. Ali Koike! Another assist for Tom Lawrence. A goal for Ali Koike. We may not have Archie Brown out there on the left-hand side anymore, but the man that's come on for the injured Archie Brown gets a goal anyway. Lovely run. Great ball by Tom Lawrence. And Koike, to get it past the defender there, ride the challenge and keep going, shows great determination. And the finish was very, very good indeed. Across the goalkeeper into the back of the net. We will encourage the boys with that. Give them a bit of a boost and hopefully push them on to now go and get the victory. And if we win this, we could go top briefly. If they show me more in the second half, then fair enough. Ali Koike to Matty Virtu. Could shoot. He's taking his time. He has shot. Oh, he scored a wonderful goal. Matty Virtu whips it into the top corner. Not much shot power on it, but the accuracy has kept it away from the keeper. 
and we have a lead. We will be going top briefly. We will be top tonight if we can hold on to this 2-1 lead. Wait for the lead table to pop up. We will be top tonight. Very much in the midst of a promotion fight. Come on, Zane, whip it. That's a good whip. Press these up! Hopefully, so will we be. Come the end of this season, Bristol Rovers 3, Swindon 1. And I think our next game is actually in the Johnson's Paint, tro Johnson's Paint Trophy. The Papa John's Trophy. Virtue adds a fourth. They really do have a leaky back line. Right, we can afford to rest a couple of players now. It's not maxed at a thousand seasons, though, is it? I'm pretty sure it's unlimited. I mean, that's a, that's a good win. I can't say anything other. You've, we've won 4 1 away from home, and briefly, for the time being at least, gone top of the table. Yeah, you won't be disgruntled anymore if you're able to get the win here against Turkey, will you? Five straight wins in a row. With Cheltenham at home in four days' time. And I will. Let's give Tom Hamer the start. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to make any changes for that game against Cheltenham. But that game against Cheltenham will be played in tomorrow's stream. I'm going to stop the stream earlier tonight in the hope that I can get another stream edited for you guys to go live on the YouTube channel. I'm trying to catch up with as much as I can before we go on holiday. So I will be live again tomorrow from the same time around about 4 p.m and we'll watch the uh, we'll watch the 5 p.m kickoff tomorrow together as well but for now for today that is all from me i will send you on a raid though so don't go anywhere just yet let's send you to bertie shall we bertie's live let's send you over to him thank you very much for your support today though guys i appreciate it very much indeed uh let me do the raid command if you're watching the youtube video drop the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't and hopefully we'll see you live on stream uh, at some point in the not too distant future. But for those of you that are here already live on stream, thank you for showing your support. Hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. If you've missed today's YouTube video, then definitely check that out. But for now, that's all from me for this afternoon. Cheers, boys. Enjoy the rest of your evening.